Welcome to Hochanda's Celebrate VE with 4 for 3 event. Join us from Thursday the 7th of May at 6pm to Monday the 11th of May at 6pm as we celebrate the 75th anniversary of Victory in Europe Day by bringing you some fabulous 4 for 3 offers throughout the bank holiday weekend. Simply order four products from the same live show during the event and receive the cheapest free. Over the weekend, your favourite guests will be showcasing many exciting products as well as offering you their invaluable expertise. So tune in, reach for the skies and stock up on your crafty cargo and help us celebrate VE Day with 4 for 3 from the 7th of May at 6pm. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Janice. That gives you the spiel of what's going on then. So four for three is what we're going to do. But it is a brand new one day special. It's six o'clock, which can only mean one thing. Your 24 hour deal is now open. The doors to the sweet shops are now open. Now, everything you see in front of me is your one day special. Now, if you were to go for all of this, if you went out and bought it all individually, it would cost you £210.90. Oh, I know, Mrs., but I can do better than that. Our usual price is £170.90. But because it's a one-day special, we've lowered it again to £149.90, which gives you two flexible payments now of £74.90. And 95 pence. 74 pounds and 95 pence will get you everything that you see in front of me now. Now I know what you're thinking at home. It is a considered purchase. I, I, I totally understand with where you're coming from with this. It is a considered purchase. But if you think for 210 pounds and 90 pence, what it would normally cost you. For £74.95 today, across two flexible payments, you are going to get the lot. But I know what you're thinking. This is all well and good, Adam. Thank you very much. You're a very nice boy. But, but I'm unsure of what I would do with it all. Well, never fear, my little chickadee. Oh, I've missed her dearly. I really, really have. She's got the sun beaming down on her face. Or she's got very good lighting. And she's got a full setup going on. It is the one and only, the award winning. It's my little Lou. How are you, Lou, my love? I'm really, really good. Yeah, the sun is a bit bright there. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm absolutely loving it. Before we start talking about your one day special, which is amazing, um, I said this a couple of weeks ago, I'm going to say it again now, I'm talking to you face to face. Um, what you do every day on Facebook for your social media is amazing. It's really keeping people going. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's, it's, I'm enjoying it. I think I'm enjoying it more than everybody else. But yeah, it keeps, it keeps me sane-ish. Oh, no, it does. I've learned so much. I learned about pencils the other day. I never knew there was so much to learn. Well, this is it. I could go on for hours on a pencil, but... Well, it's true. I, I, have you blaring, I have you blaring through the car, save listening to Radio 2 at midday when I used to come in. I have Lou with us. <laughs> I do. I do, I do. Are you sitting on the stairs, Lou? I am. I'm just going to shut, shut this. She is sitting just... on the stairs. I thought you were. There well, be careful. Go. That's, that's a different show, Lou. Oh, that's now... better. I'm in the dark. <laughs> Oh, look, there you go. Look, you can see a pretty little face. Right then, Luke, your one-day special. 16 pieces for £74, 95 pence, two flexible payments. It's a ridiculous price. Right. This is an absolutely busting bag of equipment. It just is. It's got everything that, if you're a beginner, it's everything that you want to know what you need. Yeah. If you're advanced, it's everything that you need to stock up on because you'll be using it. But you've got things in there like the black watercolour card. That's extremely dear to get hold of. Um, yeah, it's really hard to get hold of. And it's 300 DSM. And not only is it sort of watercolour paper, but you mix media and everything. You can just absolutely put everything on that. It's absolutely stunning. You've got the, um, the A5 in the mixed media pad. That's watercolour as well. So don't be fooled by the labels, you know. And, and all the demos show you me using everything. Yeah, that's really thick. It's almost like, well, it is card, really. It is really good. So, Let's go through it all one by one then, Lou. So we've been through the papers okay, at the front. No uh, now we'll move up to the a uh, uh, the acrylic, the white acrylic that we're getting as well. What would we do with yeah. this? 
Right, well, you've got different sorts of acrylics. You've got this one's um, a pearl one, and it's got a, a beautiful pearl finish. So anything you paint, um, if you put a layer of this on, it's almost like, um, not, it's like translucent, and it gives it this wonderful, like, uh, dragonfly wings Ooh, uh, nice. absolutely beautiful so uh, you've got that we've got that, that then we've got the pearl white then we've got um, the bright white then you've pens got the jelly roll or oh, classic and you've got them in three sizes of nibs you've got them in a one a point a and a point five you've got the uh, gold silver copper and white pen touch pens now these um write on anything and everything but they give you the uh, like a pure effect of pure gold leaf if that makes sense so it some of us all these know the old krylon pens and they write on everything that's the sort of pen that is and then we've got i think we're moving on to gessos are we we are indeed oh my goodness we've got white gesso we've got modeling paste and then you've got, we've got heavy... gel mediums now the white gesso is really strong that's the bottom one that that's pretty it's not it's not too thick to work with and it's not too thin so you've got the consistency of, of, of a good cream if you make sense because some of it is a little bit too runny um is, that is that. absolutely beautiful most of the time you only need one coat and the tub is huge it is it a really big old tub huge. i it's... tend to use mine out of the lid then we've got um we've got the gel medium or the modeling paste you choose all right let's go gel medium, gel medium in the mat this is heavy gel medium, so this right. has got a real viscous um, thickness to it. So this will adhere everything. It will create wonderful peaks and troughs on your stenciling and stuff, and it dries clear and matte. So it's a two, two a winner there. Uh, then... then the modelling paste gives you great structure, and it's sandable, paintable. Uh, yeah, and it's like, um, if you can imagine, a really sort of good polyfiller, uh, although it's much more than that. It, it smells like um, polyfiller, though. It's brilliant. It just works really well with everything else in the pack. Other brands are available, but it does smell like polyfiller. Uh, then, you've also got your little spatula. Ah, oh, right, yeah. Right, there's lots of spatulas, but you don't get... You'll get a, um, a really scrapey end and a really... Yeah, that's a good That's a good thing that you're doing there because it's so flexible. Some of them say they're flexible, but the, the, the only bit that's flexible is the tip. And if you go too far, you'll... Not on this, but you'll snap it. This is soft and rounded, and it is more like using um, a, a pencil. So in pasto, which means thick layers, you can get a really good effect with that. See, it's even got you going. It has. You're not even here, Lou, look, and things are falling down. Uh, then we, <laughs> we move on to the acrylics. Right. You get 12 acrylics in there, 12 mil. Right. Well, these... Um, You've got a full range of colours. So normally, when you get a set of colours, you'll get the primaries plus black and white. Um, and that's always hard to maintain the consistency of colours. So if you mix two primaries, you get a secondary. But you can't keep getting that colour. Whereas with this, you don't need to. Because you've got enough. They, they will last you. They really will. The coverage is brilliant. You've got the, um, the artist quality names. So you'll have like the ultramarine and the fa I don't know if you've got fail on that, but you've got the, the real art artist quality names in there. So most people will know that. Great for your acrylic acrylic can't speak. Acrylic pouring. Great for watering down and making glazes with your heavy gel medium. It's just never ending. Never ending. It is and we're only halfway through. Um so Remember the big bundle, one day special, 16 pieces. Those ones, those 10 that we've just spoke about, if you just want to go for those 10, ignore the brushes. If you want to go for those 10 that we've spoke about, you can do, and the details are now on the screen. Uh, everything's on an extended delivery from the 29th of May. Uh, 29th of May, everything's on an extended delivery. Um, but So all of that now, £37, 38 pence on two flexible payments if you just want that. If you want to carry on, though, and get the full collection, uh, up next, Lou, we've got two paintbrushes. Right, well, these um, are great. You can use them for watercolours for to get in the background on, but this is a Forcier. It's massive. I tell you what, this is nearly as big as I want to put my makeup on with... Um, well, I didn't want to say. No, I'm only joking. This is a brilliant wash for a uh, brush for acrylics, watercolours, and you just rather than mess about, you just get one sort of one 
swipe coverage. It's brilliant. And then you've got a detail brush. And they are, as long as you look after them, there's nothing to say you can't keep these forever. Good break. And look at the name, of course. Uh, you've got Amsterdam. But a number eight, as you can see, that is like a watercolour. It keeps coming back to that point. So it's useful for all, all your crafting and all your needs. You find painting, everything. So that's two brushes we're getting. We're there is still more. We then yeah. get the most exquisite palette of pencils. Yeah. Again, this range of pencils, because it's got the um, in-between colours as well, those people who are a bit worried about trying to get a blend or, or trying to create new colours, you don't have to with this. It's done for you. And you can go, as long as you keep to the, the idea of light, medium and dark, you know, it's infinite, this. You, you can carry on and carry on, but you can use it on all the acrylics you've got there. You can use it on in all your pads, on your black pad. You can use it with the metallics that are coming up, yeah. And you can see that, that to me, says it all. I can just go for any colour I want without having to worry about, oh, will I be able to get that again? Or what happens if I, if I forget what colour it is? is always write down on the side of your page the numbers that you're going to use that way you can always pick up the right pencil again good little plan good little plan we're still going on we've got three more to do uh, we'll go down to the bottom for your, oh, oh, your well. paint. are these watercolors now right these are absolutely stunning you have got a full set of van gogh watercolors but metallics so you've got you've got rich gold old gold you've got like um, a silver a white a pewter then you've got the interference colors and on white paper they just look like white white and a bit more white but on black that's when it all happens it, they just go to those colors that you see on there if they go to the reds the blues the greens you just have to see it on black paper uh, this, this is one of those times I wish it was there, but hopefully the demo will show you how it works. Oh, I can't wait. I literally can't wait. Uh, then we've got the fine line of pens as well, just next door. Three different sizes of these Love as these. well. What this do you is need where I do all... Now these, um, they're right up there. You know, these. They, I think that Secure is like Hero Products Plus. I must point out you've got a point zero zero five. Now I do all my drawing in that, and they're hard to get hold of. So they're like, like, it's like an eyebrow on a brush that, or an eyelash, it's so fine, they're absolutely beautiful. And I use these all the time to do my drawing with, it's stunning. But they work on top of the paints you've got, they work with the pencils. So it's well thought out this, well thought out, because it's not just, some paints you can't paint or draw over when you've worked. These you can, you can work over all of them. Amazing. And then last but no means least on the complete bundle, you're also getting black gesso thrown in as well. Black gesso. Um, now, if you want to sort of really wow, you know, your inter Ooh. interference colours on this. Oh, so any paper you've got, card or anything, and you want it to, to sort of really behave similar to a watercolour or a heavy card, you put this on first, it creates a bed or two so that all the paint has got something to adhere to or grip to so that's why this is so so way so so good because you've got all you've got everything you'll need to start ever to me i don't think there's anything else i could think of oh you might need a little bit no you won't even need glue because you've got your gel medium i'm trying i'm trying my best to think of something that you'd need but i can't adam well i think I you'll, can. Just, you'll just need a little pot of water that's it that is it and I think you're that, good to that's go all you need looking at it and I've had right really good fun with this really good fun and those people who are serious crafters or artists or whatever they will actually um these are the things they'll need to stock up on what these that? are the things they'll al already have well it's good to have uh, don't go anywhere though, Mila, but if you want these six on their own they do come as a bundle so you can get two brushes all your pencils your watercolors your fine liner pens and your black gesso this is 96 pounds and 15 pence once again two flexible payments now of 48 pounds and uh, eight 48 pounds and eight across two flexible payments but if you do want everything almost 10 percent of the stock now has already gone of the large bundle um, Lou, why I have got you, um, I hope to yeah. speak to you again later as well. Um, 
we've got a, we've got a vast uh, what we call in the trade a vast poll there's a vast show here that we've got yeah. as well um is there anything because we've got this event um four for three as it were uh well that's what it is uh this would be obviously one of your items if you're going for the complete bundle now if money wise was if money was no object for you lou what other three things would you put in your basket off that website because you know what we've got on the show as well with these oh amsterdam or everything or anything 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 off our web anything off this show though so anything from our amsterdam show anything from our one day special show right i would have to put in the pack of um six iridescent colors i would have to put in the extra massive big um tub of of extra heavy gel medium and I'd have to put in I think I'd have to get in a bigger pad because the bigger the pad oh no hang on then I'd have to put them in the big set of pan colors there you've got in, yeah I think you get in, you get I get a big pad interference colors and those big set of Van Gogh um watercolors and I, I don't think I'd have to come out of the house ever again then <laughs> well maybe for food <laughs> <laughs> Never, Lou. I'll send. I'll send it to you. I'll send you a little goodie bag if you wanted to. Don't you worry. Uh, Lou, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'll let you get back to your dinner because I know I know them lamb chops won't eat themselves. And uh, we'll speak to you again <laughs> later. <laughs> is it lamb chops or is it, is it lamb chops or soup you got this evening? Well, I'm, I never eat lamb chops now, but you'll have to come and look at my lives to understand that one. <laughs> oh. Well, that's all. There's an offer. There's an offer you can't <laughs> turn down. Uh, we'll let you get off the stairs, Lou, before you get cramp, and um, I'll come and speak to you later. Oh, see you later. Bye now. Bye, oh, boy, Lou, bless her. Oh, that nursing home will never be the same. Now, before we have to put her on the stairs, you can't see everybody else. We can't get forms signed. Uh, bless her in the. Uh, bless the carers that look after her. Uh, now. I'm joking, viewer. Uh, right then, details are on screen. Very busy for your one-day special. 10% of the stock has already gone. Head to the websites. Um, while we're there, I'm just going to show you. I know I'm not meant to. Uh, these are the big tubs we were talking about. This is the uh, extra heavy gel medium that we were talking about, that Lou was talking about. Look at that for a part. And then we're going to bring you details in for this. We are going to go to a demo. I'm not meant to do this. I can only apologise. Uh, £21.95, 319 um, I want to show you the gesso as well. Look at that for white gesso. Check the website out. Everything is on there. Oh, it's like, it's like it means uh, vitamins that he has. Bless him. <laughs> oh, bless him. You want to see him. Uh, savings galore across the board. Uh, remember, it's four for three. We're celebrating. Um, why don't you celebrate with us as well? Uh, stay with us as well. I'm with you for another two hours. But enough of me waffling. Let's get straight to the demonstration. I want to see how this is used. Hi, I'm going to so enjoy this. I'm going to create a canvas, but to all, in order to create a canvas, I need to do all little tests first. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a resist technique. Now you can do this several ways. We're going to use a gel matte medium. You can use gel or gloss. We're going to use the modeling paste. We're going to use all the different pastes you've got in your isolation pack. And then we're going to use the paint. So we're going to create a test piece, but this is the first one. So what I've done is I have drawn some lines and on here I have used um, a, a drawing gum, which is like a resist paste. You don't have to do that. So I'm going to show you the other things you can do. One of the first things you can do to create a resist image is get, I'm just going to sacrifice this piece of card. I've just cut one piece of card and I'm, the reason I've done that is so that I can put all the stuff I need to through it, test it and then keep it. So here we've got a matte gel medium and we're using the wonderful um, palette knives and all you do is pick, because pick, I'm looking at a certain artist um, and, and I've looked for all the stencils that match his design and I'm just going to put that through. I'm not trying to be perfect. Right, now all I do now, as you know, I always keep that and I'll put that in the sketchbook. So I'll leave that to one side to dry. So the next thing we can try is what about a resist? Well, a resist can be done either way. I'll just show you the quickly the resist using the, the liquid gum. And all you do is you can get 
your designs and then my advice is when you're using this have a tissue ready so that because it does pour out pretty quick so I've just got this here so I'll just keep that clear and then what I'm going to do is copy the designs um, that resemble and then these are the designs that appear in the artist's work so just you know be mindful take your time right so that's one way of doing it with that but there are other ways of doing it now the thing is these are mine but we will try and bring them to you um the, the next one we can do is where we use embossing pen and an em and powder and what you do is get your embossing pen now you have to be quick with it because this is very thirsty paper and it might run out really quick it might dry out sorry quick but what you can do is just do that do another one so you can see there's three different ways of dealing with this you can do whatever you want this has got a great thick and a thin edge but what that means is all these are now done in this in different ways but we are achieving very similar and I'll show you what the next step is once we've heated that off I can now just show you what it looks like once we've done that so you heat this up you leave the other ones to dry because don't forget that they all have different different needs when they're drying we'll heat this up a little bit Warm up your gun. And the beauty of this one is it's so fast, it heats up really quickly. So you can do quite delicate surfaces with this because you don't have to stay that long on it. So then you do that. So we've got all these different ones. Here's one that I did before using the gun. So I can actually show you that. But all you do is just do your test pieces on your card and then when we come back we'll show you what else you can do with all the paints and uh, all the textures in the next part. Okay, so we've got this far where we've used some resist materials. So here I've got the rubber cement and here I've got the embossing powder. So you can do it either or. And, and the reason I'm doing this is to show you all the different ways that you can actually use the materials in your isolation pack all together um, you can draw into it I'll do that last one in a minute but here we've got the surface re-wet your paints because that's the most important bit you need to wake them up you need to not remember not too much water on your brush because you need to get some depth so the first one I'll show you is this is just one layer of embossing now if you do it twice you'll get a thicker line so what this allows you to do is it keeps the line underneath black so you can start to add colour now this is quite a watery one because I want it that way so I'm going to blend some colours up so I'm going to go from the pink to the red up here and then to the blue uh, sorry to the coppers and then the blues and I'm going to try and get a nice blend in the middle but as you can see it works really really well with your embossing uh, powder uh, pens and you know it's, it's a, another nice technique. Now the artist I'm looking at has lots of circles and squares and triangles in, in his work. So uh, that's why I'm doing all these test pieces because then when you want to do something else, you can say, right, okay, I know this works, I know that works. So you, it's good to keep these as little test pieces. And don't forget, they mix together. So you're not, you don't think you're just stuck with these colors. You're, you've got as many colors as you want. So I've done that one, now I'll show you on the rubber cement, um, and the rubber cement, we've brought, we brought this to you before, this acts a little bit different because it's sort of like sticky, but you have to let this dry, so this remember will be where you want the black lines, as in with this, you've drawn where you want the black lines, this will be as well. And I'll just put a little bit, so with this one I'm being a little bit more conscious of where I'm drawing. And all this will be going on my canvas at the end. 
So there's a reason for this. So you let that dry and you let them both dry. And you'll end up, you let them dry like that, however you want them. And you'll end up with a surface that you need to clean up. So I'll just move them over so you get a surface like this. Now this is ready for me to take apart. You don't need one of these. This is just takes away the cement. Now, this is just to show you, um, because you have to wait for the others to dry, that what happens is when you move the cement away, you're left with a, a wonderful black line. You can use your fingers. Um, but I will tell you though, when you're using these paints, you must let them dry properly because you've got to let the iridescence sort of fall into the into the paper properly. If you don't, it, it'll sit on the top and smear. So you can see, I love this, sit here for hours doing this, but you can see you've got this wonderful... Now, if this was a light paper, there's no way this would stand up to this. If this, this would fall apart. So this black watercolour card is brilliant for that. So the reason I've shown you all that is we've got this texture, we've got this, we've got this, is I've gone away now and I've drawn a canvas. And on this canvas, I've got all the patterns that I want. So I'm going to be using the areas for the texture paste, the modelling paste, which is the white one, or the, anything else I've got. So you can see, I've only done it out rough because I'm going to paint it out black later on. So don't worry too much. So I'm going to go away now, draw out my outline, and start to put the surface textures on here ready to show you next right, right what I've done is I've drawn out some really rough lines on here but this is just basically to get an idea so the next thing is I'm going to do is get my modeling paste and I'm just going to start by putting some lines down now the modeling paste it doesn't matter because it's white so I'm going to paint over it anyway so I get that on there join it up it doesn't have to be exactly like the lines underneath because the lines are just a, a really rough, really rough sort of idea of where you want things. So leave that like that. Then turn it around and think, right, OK, where do I want any more? I quite like this bit here, but I think I might put some other lines in. So I've got this square one and I quite like the idea of just putting a few in there. So you, you, you really do take your time with this because... You, you want to sort of, although the lines aren't that important, you want to try and keep them within some sort of idea so that the design is there but you can change it. So this is the modelling paste again. Um, clean up as you go. You can change this out and you can put um, your, your gel mediums on but I'm just going to show you a little bit. So you look at balance so I think I'm going to like a bit here but it doesn't have to meet these lines and then this is the best bit you can scrape it all out clean all that off put it on your stencil now the best bit is clean this off straight away because although it's you know it will wash off you don't want to mess too much so what I'm going to do is just put a little bit piece here now it will be a bit shiny for the camera so I do apologise, um, but you just put a little bit of texture. Now I drew like a, a triangle there, so just drawing that on there. And then I think, right, well I need a little bit up here as well. And we're going to do some drawing. So get this in here first. Don't forget you can go over to the background as well. The sides, um, sorry, the background, carry it all the way down. And the reason I'm doing this is just to show you that don't be frightened of trying to draw your shapes yourself. Now here, can you see, we've got this strange line just finishing. So what we can do is put our own line in. And I'll show you why that won't matter in a minute. So we've got that. What we can do now is we can add some gel medium as well. So if I was to put this on here and I wanted to keep, you know, areas free, like this here, I really like this here. You could put areas of gel medium on there or your texture paste or both. So really look through your stencils, but think about your design, draw it on your canvas. And then when you've got it on your canvas, that's when you can start playing. I really like this little small one. I think I'm going to put a few of these all over. Um, and even the edge you like, perfect. 
there and I like it in here because there's a line in there. So this, you can use all the textures that you've got in your pack and we're going to be doing some wonderful um, sort of adding what stuff with embossing, uh, embossing powders but we're also going to be using our, um, oh, what's it called, gesso and stuff to create textures. So don't be worried but the one thing you do have to do is let this dry because if you don't you um you can't add texture so the last thing i'm going to do before i take this away and dry it is what you do is get a little bit of like the van gogh uh, modeling tools are great for this or the little ball end tools your embossing tools and what you're going to do is you can just draw your lines in very carefully or in my case not so carefully and I'm looking at an artist's work so I know where I'm going with this if you don't feel confident enough to draw you don't have to you can take elements of stuff and add circles but the one thing I will show you is um, I'm going to add some spirals and once you start adding and getting a bit of confidence, you'll be fine at the area not to do that. It's good, isn't it? And everything you need is in that one kit. Right then, we're gonna we've you've pressed on ahead with me. You are very good. You're shopping you're shopping ahead well, you really are. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, I'm taking you through the evening as well. Uh, we're now with your one-day special. Then you've got me for well another two and a half hours. We've got another we've got, well, I say another. Uh, a happy hour. Crafty Devil's happy hour straight after this. And then we're gonna have another look at your one-day special to round off your evening as well. Uh, but some other things that you've found as well now pearl set these are your pearl tones uh, you can see at the bottom if i move my little sausage fingers out of the way uh covered in emulsion and i can't get it off um but you can see the colors that you've got there as well absolutely beautiful is what they are uh look at the colorways that you have got there look now you put that onto your black card that you're getting in your one day special you are good to go. They, as, as Lou said on the phone, uh, they all look white, but when you start using them on your black cards and your black watercolour cards, they really do ping to life. Uh, these are £10.95. Um, 776173 is your item number. Uh, your colours are on the back of your box as well that you need. Remember, four for three as well. So maybe it's only some of the smaller things you want to go for. Maybe you're thinking, Adam, this is all well and good. Thank you very much. But I only want a few of the things. We can do this for you. Stick with me. So £10.95. pence. These are for your pearl tone colours. But maybe you want some of your larger jars of medium. Now, I've got your extra heavy gel medium. Uh, extra heavy gel medium is a litre. A litre is what you're getting here for your extra heavy. Have I swapped these around, Kate? Have I put the wrong one in the wrong place? Oh, okay, I'll move them back in a minute. Uh, 139842. Now, there's two options in this. You can either go for the matte or the gloss. What not they bros? Um, and then you've also you've got the matte or the gloss. It's entirely up to you. Uh, £21.95. You're saving them. It's a litre is what you're getting. There, there is so... Look, and it's full. It's not one of these litres where... Yeah, it's not like, you know, you know when you get a bag of cheese puffs? And who doesn't love a cheese puff? Our Jimmy's fond. Uh, but they're not, they're halfway down the packet, isn't they, these days? You only get an handful in them. Not with this. This is full to the brim. Look at that. Give that a squeeze. It would ooze everywhere. This is your extra heavy gel medium that you're using now. A litre for £21.95. Maybe you want to go for... Th Here's a thought. Maybe you want to go for three of these. If you're going for three of your heavy gel mediums, put an extra something in. Because that extra something will be free. You're going to get the cheapest item three. So buy three. The fourth item that you pop into your basket, if it's the cheapest, it'll be free. It's very, very easy. Uh, amazing as well. £21.95. 139824 is your item number. It helps if I could read. Then we're moving down is your modelling paste. Now remember you're getting the smaller tubs of this in your one day special. 
Uh, you're getting the smaller tubs in your one day special. I was going to pick it up, then I thought it might all fall apart. Uh, so you're getting larger. This is a litre again. £21.95 pence is what we're talking. Uh, remember, extended delivery, 29th of May, is what we're looking at with these as well. That's the smaller tub that you're getting in your one day special. That's 250 mil is what you're getting in there. So now this is your litre. This is a thousand millilitres. Uh, a thousand. I couldn't say that then. Miller, 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 miller. Uh, this is a thousand is what you're getting. Absolutely a litre's worth. Absolutely beautiful. Once again. Oh, look. Look at that. Oh. I'm loving that. Uh, so I've now bent the jug. Uh, so very busy on that. Now you're pouring medium. Oh. Now I'm liking this. Do you know why I like this? It's in a glass jar. You don't normally see that. It's normally plastic. So you can reuse the jar. It does look like... Uh, it looks like a little... Well, you could use it with anything. Now you can mix it with acrylic paints and inks. It's going to make everything last a little bit longer, as it were. It's going to stretch your mediums out. Your pouring mediums means you, it will make things last longer. It will sort of be easier to use. Uh, absolutely beautiful is what it is as well. Once again, a large tub. Uh, what I also like, well, everyone, everyone I use on this channel, anyone I see use, has always got in the stats, they always smear it on first, white gesso. Look at this, 60% of the stock has now gone. 21 pounds, 95 pence. If this was me, I would be going for three of these. What would that be? Two, four, six, 63, 66, about 66 pounds, give or take a few pence. And now once again, 66 pounds, long as your budget, then you could split that onto your flexi, because remember, go over that 20, uh, 60 pound mark, you then enter into your flexi basket. You enter this code as well that's here, you're gonna get one of these for free. So you would get four liters of white, gesso that's going to last you an awful long time uh, when all this is over and done with and we're all about to go out and about again if you're running craft classes this is the way to stock up this is the way to go you've probably gone through loads of white gesso while you've been on this lockdown you've probably gone through tons doing all your canvases doing all your work you start running dry are you just using bits and you think oh, i'll just use that little bit because i don't want to run out don't know where to get it from can't get it can't squash. 60 very very four liters worth four liters of white gesso uh, fill your boots fill your baskets as it were fill your baskets and start checking out four for three as well uh seven nine six six seven two i don't think this will be here for the latest show just putting it out there i might be wrong but i don't think it'll be here 60 percent has already gone for your white gesso uh we're shimmying on down is what we're shimmying down to these are your mediums these are your mediums so you've got your heavy now we, you are getting five but we've only got the four. So you're getting five mediums. You get your matte medium, your glossy medium, your coarse, your modeling paste, and your pearl medium as well. Everything that you know, there's your coarse, look, there's your, all your mediums that you're getting. You're getting five tubs of your medium, 54 pounds, 95 pence, all from the amazing brand of Amsterdam as well. Uh, you know what you're buying into. You're buying into quality. This is brand new today. 741490 is your item number, 54 pounds and 95 pence is what we're looking at. You're saving a fiver on those as well. Uh, right then, we're moving down. You found these as well. These are your paper pads, your Van Gogh paper pads good quality 300 gsm you're getting a4 and you're getting your a5 as well just so you can see the size difference in case you don't know a4 is obviously the one at the front which is this one just here a5 is your one at the back you're getting both of the oh look at this price both of these for 19 pound and 50 pence 30 sheets in each 300 gsm it's good quality paper is what you're buying into as well. It's mixed media paper as well, so it's going to take all your mediums. You've seen what Al Lou makes and creates, um, and Al Leone as well. And amazing at what they do. And they always use paper that can take everything. This will take everything, from your stencils with your gesso, to your mediums, to your watercolour paints as well. Maybe you're going for your one-day special, and you're going to pop one of these in as well. 
it's worth doing. Maybe you're going to go for three of these. Uh, well, that'd be two for 60 quid. 60 pound bar a few pennies. I've rounded it. If it was, uh, it was one pound 50 between friends. Um, I've rounded it all up to 20 pound. But even if it was 20 pound for both of them, well, that'd be two, four, six. And you would, you'd get an awful lot because you'd get one free as well, wouldn't you? You'd get four A5 and four A4 paper pads. It's an amazing little deal, this four for three. Really do play around here. It only works for the live hours that we've currently got on as well. Um, take advantage during the happy hour during the next hour as well. Four for three would be amazing on that. Uh, right then, let's move on down. Very busy on these. Very busy on that white gesso. Uh, jump in while you can. Uh, last but no means least, if you saw the little pot of uh, paint set that we got in the one day special this is what and this is one of Lou's favorites this is one so that she would put in to her basket as well then you've got every color under the sun as Lou was saying with these this is like your pencils in your one day specials you're getting 48 watercolors but not just the watercolors that you use every single day these are all your tones look at those blues so you go from blue which starts here to, so then you sort of go all the way through to your purples. You've got all those tones in there. You've got the greens that will take you all the way through. Watercolour little goes a long way with your watercolours as well. They all come, look at that orange. You go from yellow to the deep orange to pumpkin. Then you go to sort of the, the sunflower orange into your browns as well, into your light blues and your greys that you're getting in there. Uh, absolutely beautiful. 48 watercolours. It comes as well with the mixing palette. Obviously, this all folds down and folds away. Everything is there. Uh, it comes with all your watercolours. Oh, Adam, what did you do that for? It comes with your watercolours so you can blend. And you've got your mixing tools at the bottom as well. Uh, I think these are absolutely stunning for £99.95. and pence. It's a £30 saving. And it's on two flexible payments as well. £49.98. and pence. Right then, we've seen part one. Of our Lou. Let's go back for a bit of part two. Right, all nice and dry. Just be careful when you're drying this because you might have a skin and you might look it might look dry and it isn't. Now this Amsterdam gesso is fantastic. I love it. And it's a real rich black. Now my advice is when you use it, use it sparingly and use it out of the lid. But make sure you clean all this up. I'm also going to be using the massive big brush that you get. Now this is a power brush. This, the 48, look at that. You get it, it bristle, power in that. Now when I'm using this, I only need to do one or two strokes. So just going to put it in. Never load your gesso too far up. But you'll see what light work this makes with two or three passes it's done so and don't be lulled into the thinking that you've got to put a heavy gesso layer on you don't remember to do all the sides now I've seen people do this and um, they've added too much gesso and it's incredibly difficult when you do that to get the actual sort of layers you want and to get it to dry so my advice is always always thin layers and then really brush it in with this brush because this modeling paste allows you to do that and you want to get in all the nooks and crannies and all those patterns will just pop up now i really like this it's like um it's exciting because all those horrible lines that i drew in the background now have disappeared and you've just got this wonderful texture don't forget though do the sides because the sides are really important this look these look really good if you put them on a 3d canvas as well so that you've got a black edge and then a white 3d cam under, underneath it say a square uh, canvas that's two inches bigger all round and that's why that looks amazing so don't want to sort of bore you but i just wanted to show you what it looks like as all these lovely, lovely textures appear. Now, and you can see, look, you don't need to go right up to the to the uh, edge of the brush. Just keep it to the end. Dry brush, not too heavy. And when you go across light brushes like that, I've seen a lot of people when they're gessoing, and I don't think anyone's actually said this is how you gesso. I mean, there are different ways. I don't always use a brush. Sometimes I use a sponge. But when you've got really delicate details like this, real detailed, detailed details, you need a 
brush to get in. So then go over all the way. It doesn't matter. You'll always find a bit. Always find a bit. But now what that means is that gesso now on there will allow me to do anything I want because it's a key. It's not like a, an acrylic paint where there's a coating on it. This now allows, it's got a tooth so I can paint, I can do everything on it. And my, all oh, my paints will sit nicely on the top and be absorbed but they won't rub off. So there you go. Simple gesso now. And we're just going to let that dry. As you can see now, you've got a matte finish, which means the gesso is dry. But make sure it is properly dry. I rush things. And you can just see the speckles where I've not put enough on. Um, that's not coverage. That's me not, not doing it. So take your time. Now, I couldn't wait, so I had to sort of go ahead. So what I've done is, I'll just show you. You wake up your paints, as always. And then what I'm going to do is just put float some here. And by float, I mean I'm not actually trying to sort of paint anything as yet I'm trying to put a metallic sort of layer down because what I'm going to do I know and, and I really don't want to do this but I've got a cloth here and I'm going to rub it back but the cloth I will save and use so I'm just going to paint one bit and then I'm going to get a little bit of water and just blend it out can you see how that just fizzles and blends out there's a reason for that that's because I don't want a harsh line not that you would get one, but I tend to like this. So, and then very gently with your cloth, very gently. You just, you're almost, um, actually, this is better, because you've got a flatter area. Just rub away. Can you see I'm revealing? Doesn't matter if you rub that, because you can rub it off in a bit of water. That's perfect. So something with a flat surface. And what you're trying to do is just bring the designs back. Oh, that's gorgeous. And then with this, you can go over and pick up other areas. So I've got that colour, which is oh, copper. So I want to balance it now. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit down here just to balance it. So not a lot, it's just your three. And again, these colours are just, oh, absolutely stunning. And again, if you don't want it there, just rub it off. So we've got our three now. It's We're not going to go mad with colour just yet. We, we're going to see how it works because we've got drawing to go on this. I do want to bring in some other colours. I want to bring in some like pearls as well because I really get the idea that um, the golds need to be like heavy gold, bright gold, luscious gold. So this all does this and by that I mean this colour set does all that. So again, don't think you're just stuck with your one gold, two gold, three gold. You've got all these golds and they all mix. And they've all got diff different sort of uh, depths to them. So I'm adding a little bit and I'm going darker and darker and darker. And you'll start to see that that will change a little bit. So... And then, again... Blend that out there, get your sponge. Oh, I love this. Absolutely love this. And then you can go on. If the, when you're taking it off, some areas, it's not too deep. Oh, that's better. Not too deep, but this, you can brush it on to others. So I'll just bring it round and show you. I can actually add a tiny bit there. Oh, I'm loving this. And just show you here, just there, can you see? I can add a little bit of the gold there. So you can even brush it on. <sighs> lovely. So I've got the lovely, lovely colours there happening. I've got the, the golds happening here. I've got a light, medium and dark. So I'm going to go dark, medium and light over here. So we've got the dark. And then we're going to go medium. And then go in with the light. 
and then I will be back to show you what it looks like when I've floated the first layer on and burnished it off. Right, okay, hopefully you can catch it all on camera. Um, but you'll be able to see a floated a colour on there. But also on the show, we've got these wonderful pearls. Now these work really, really well with the watercolours because watercolours react in a certain way, reactivate with water. Acrylics, these match perfectly with these, but these are permanent. So I want to show you now what they look like. So they all look like white, white, shiny, and white again. But actually, these are the colours. So, as you can see, we've got the blue, the yellow, the violet, the white, the green, and the red. You can just see the tint of them. You might not be able to catch them. But it means that you can use these and have a finish that's um, permanent. So, what I'm going to do now is add this to the canvas. So, I'm going to put them out of the way. But I do love them on the way anyway. And I'm going to use them straight from the tube. And I'll show you how strong they are. So, they all look white. But now, you can see they've, they're not as sort of... Um, they've got a bit more staying power. Put a bit up here. A bit more staying power. Well, no, that's the wrong word. They seem a bit stronger. But that's because of the nature of acrylic it will be so i'm just going to paint that on and i'm just going to get that in and give it a bit of texture and the same up there now acrylic does behave differently it's got more body now if you can just see how that has really really taken on a different sort of feel to it there was copper down here copper here and I've added the gold on the top so you've got a real different feel to it so again I'm going to add some let's go this is quite powerful this but I absolutely love this colour and this is the blue and the violet um, together and, and if you mix it with the green you get an amazing colour so I'm just going to put a little bit on it is so strong and what I mean is this and that's good, but I don't want it to, to be the focal point of my piece. So I'm just going to rub that in there and maybe put a bit more down here. Can you see now how it just catches it? So three places again. And um, this has been one of my favourite things to do. Is going back to sort of just getting my paints out, getting the textures, the modelling paste out and just having a real sort of um arty play especially looking at the artists in the way i have and if you some of you probably know who the artist is so here we've got the blue i'm just going to go back in now with i think a little bit of violet and the reason i'm using this is because this violet will warm some of these up so i'm just going to put a tiny bit on again that's all you need so i'm going to balance it out here and a bit down here because I might even I've not decided yet I might even just put um, something in the middle or a focal point or I might just when I finish floating these colours on I might just add some doodling and leave it at that because I think this will probably work nice on its own without having a focal point so there again I'm just going to pack this in I'm loving this. I love the colours. Don't forget to go back over the colours you've done and then that way they'll bed in so it means like you don't have one that's more powerful than the other. I love that. And the way that you can react is you, you might be able to see it if I wiggle it around and see how colours reacting. And I can need a little bit more here. And you can add white to this as well if you want which we will do in the end. So now I've done that, and you think, well, why would you add white to it? Well, I'll tell you, it's really nice to add white because it gives it a flatter tone. Well, I'm not doing that yet. I'm going to layer up the colours slowly and gently, and then that'll be it. So next time you see this, it'll be near enough done, ready for the next step. Well, I can't wait for it. And next time we see that, we'll be at 8 o'clock this evening when we look at part 
three at uh, the big bundle now everything individually if you want things individually has sold out things are flying off the shelves uh, we're very busy for the one day special which is everything you see here one eight seven six two zero is your item number 74 pounds and 95 pence across two flexible payments at uh, two hours down two more to do i hope you can join me i want you getting involved in the next hour as it is a little happy hour